I just got a super ugly haircut. They tried to change my style, but if you still want to comment about it, I'm probably going to agree with everything you have to say. What's up guys, it's Justin here, and today I've got my Snapchat spectacles. I got them finally, and I'm going to do sort of a day in life video through spectacles, just to make it a little bit more exciting, because I'm sure you've seen a lot of videos by now of these weird sunglasses that cost $130. So here's a backstory. I live in Canada, and everything takes a very long time to get. Spectacles initially released in the vending machines and I sort of considered flying out to New York or something to get them because I really wanted them. That is a very stupid idea, although I'm looking for every excuse to go back to New York City. So as you might know, about a month ago they released online for order and it was a wait time of about three to four weeks. I was sitting in class at the time and ordered them right away and although I was kind of considering going with an obnoxious color like the orange or the blue, everyone told me I should probably just go with the black because I already look weird enough wearing these glasses in a place that probably doesn't know what they are. So I had them ordered to my friend Vin's house who then shipped them over to me in Canada. So a few years back I had Google Glass for about a few weeks and I ended up selling them because there just wasn't really much of an appeal to them. They didn't really excite me after a few days. But of course as soon as I saw the video that Snapchat released of the spectacles I was super excited because I use my personal Snapchat account a lot. I've never really vlogged before, I kind of want to but I just can't get over the awkwardness of vlogging. I don't really like being in front of the camera that much, so I think the spectacles are as close as I'm ever going to get to vlogging because the fact that you can just press a button with a built-in camera on your sunglasses just gets over the whole awkwardness of walking around with a camera pointed in your face, especially where I live, which is Victoria, BC, where I normally get pretty weird looks just for filming in public. I've also lost like my third pair of sunglasses lately, so these couldn't have come any sooner. It's going to be a fun toy to play around with for the rest of the summer as I travel and hopefully capture my experience through spectacles. I'm using the term day in life pretty loosely because my life is boring. I pretty much go to school from Monday to Friday, um, university University, and that keeps me busy. I do have some homework here and there and then I might try to film a video for Saturday each week So I pretty much spend the entire Saturday editing and you guys might know I never actually upload on Saturday The videos always get delayed to Sunday So aside from eating making videos doing homework and going to school I don't really do much so this day in life montage is pretty much what I would do in a typical week that has been compressed into a day Two hours later.
Okay, so I'm back. So Snapchat's purpose with the spectacles was to be able to capture life in a new way on the spot. Having to take out your phone every time to record a video sometimes misses a lot of the important moments. So this is a cool approach to using the vertical layout of Snapchat to be able to capture a 360 degree field of view just from a pair of sunglasses. It is super wide angle at about 115 degrees and I didn't find them to be too heavy, but because I'm Asian, I noticed that they kind of slid down a little bit because I have a bit of a flat nose. So that might just be something to know. And if you have a huge head, these might not work for you. They're made out of plastic, but they felt pretty solid. And the carrying case that it is included for charging them is really nice as well. I'm sure a lot of you already know how to use these, but for those who don't, I want to just keep it as simple as possible. To start recording right away, all you have to do is press the button once and you will see a rotating light. That is to record 10 seconds. And if you want to record 20 seconds, just press twice. And if you want to record for 30 seconds, press three times, and to stop the recording, hold on the button for two seconds. There's a light that is on the inside of the sunglasses that kind of indicates while it's recording, and if you're nearing your last few seconds, it will start to blink. What's great about it is that it is always in standby mode, so as soon as you press the button, it starts to record right away, so I've never found myself missing a moment that I was trying to record. And to access all of your clips, just open up the app and through Bluetooth, it will transfer all of your clips in SD quality to share to your story and edit. And if you want to transfer in HD, you just have to connect to the Wi-Fi in the spectacles to transfer all of your clips in case you would like to export them to your camera roll. The transfer time is relatively slow and will kill the battery on your phone and your spectacles, but that is to be expected. And in terms of the battery life, I was able to get about a day, a day and a half. I was using them moderately from 26 clips on the first day to like 12 on the second day and 10 on the third day. And the glasses themselves charge relatively fast in the case, but the case takes about six to eight hours to charge from what I noticed. I have to say it's only been a few days with my spectacles, but I can definitely see myself wearing them around much more. I can't wait to take them to LA or something, a nice sunny place where I would have been wearing sunglasses anyways. So far it's a really fun toy, but whether or not it's worth the $130 price tag will depend on if I even touch these after an entire week. As I could see this being something that is fun for the first week and then it just sits in your drawer for the rest of the year and you completely forget about it. Otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I've got many more coming up. School is down to its last two weeks, which has me very excited. So hopefully I don't fail any classes and hopefully my haircut will be fixed before the next video. But leave a like if you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next one.